We all start our journey with Jesus in the same spot. We know we need a savior. We, we turn over control of our lives to him. That's step one for all of us. But then comes the next step and the step after that and the one after that because life with Jesus is a journey. It's not an event. It's following wherever he leads and taking next steps can inspire a lot of different emotions and responses from folks. Sometimes next steps are easiest when we're surrounded by family and friends. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up, and let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. Faith steps just seem easier when we're walking with people who are cheering us on. Sometimes next steps feel intimidating, daunting, even intense. As we grow in our faith, God might ask us to do some things way outside our comfort zones. Like maybe we'll start seeking out those kids who need a friend. Maybe we'll give up some bad habits that are hard to break or, or pick up new ones that are hard to fit into our schedule. Sometimes next steps are exhilarating. Sometimes the next step feels like a cannonball. I mean, you've been ready to take the plunge for a while and you're just waiting for the right moment and Jesus is faithful. If we're looking for next steps, he's gonna shine a light on where we ought to step. By your words, I can see where I am going. They throw a beam of light on my dark path. I've committed myself and I'll never turn back. A life filled with faith and obedience is a cannonball. You can never turn back once you're in flight. That's all there is. But sometimes next steps are also a little bit surprising or even painful. Obedience can be costly. Think about the disciples, many imprisoned multiple times for following Jesus or Paul who was stoned and shipwrecked and ultimately beheaded or Jesus who followed willingly to the cross even though he knew it would be painful. Next steps, they're just not always easy. But as you practice obedience, and it does take practice, I mean, obedience isn't really our natural bent, right? Whatever obedience is in your life, baptism, reading your Bible more, talking to someone about God, or even something greater, the more you do it, the more energizing it becomes. And you become excited, even anticipating, looking for what God might ask you to do next, like this kid. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, <laughs> Some of you are that kid. You just can't wait for what God does next in your life. For some of you, it's baptism. You've been praying, contemplating, probably discussing it with folks you trust. It's the first next step of a lot of next steps to come. And so sometimes it's the toughest to take. So thanks for being willing to consider it. Let us know if you're thinking about it by clicking the link in the description. Maybe it's developing your faith walk by praying more regularly or reading your Bible more often, developing spiritual disciplines that will help next steps come more naturally. Maybe it's just being a better friend more consistent in your connect group or your small group, forging a better relationship at home with your parents or your siblings. It could literally be anything. Be the kid who cannot wait to do the next right thing God is asking them to do. And it's okay if you're reluctant. Maybe you aren't sure about the whole faith or Jesus thing. We're here for your questions, your doubts, and helping you figure it all out. Or maybe you're pretty sure. You're just scared. You're afraid of the possible waves or that it could be painful or, or maybe that God will ask you to do something you just can't do. You're right, he might. That's why you have friends, family, a small group, your closest faith influencers, people who are gonna stand beside you, inspiring you to be courageous, inspiring you to stand in the light and pushing you to finish the race. Life with Christ, it's a cannonball. If you keep sitting at the edge of the pool, you're gonna miss it. To dive deeper into this next steps thing with Jesus, especially in the realm of baptism, hit the video on the screen to explore our completely free baptism course.